This is a quick how to video on how to install a K tuner unit into an 0506 Acura RSX ECU. You'll need a soldering iron, some flux paste, Phillips head screwdriver, a die grinder, or a file. In the box, you get a few things. You get the card, which shows you you can go to the website, download the software. Get your K-Tuner unit, some nylon spacers, and extended screws, a USB wire, and the analog harnesses. To remove the cover, there's four Phillips head screws. So once you open the cover, you'll see the little area where you're going to be installing the header. There's only two headers to install. That's where your K tuner board will sit. So the easiest way to do it is to actually remove the board from the ECU case, and this way you can uh, get a good angle in order to solder the unit. So once you remove the board from the case, you can save all the screws except for two because you'll use the extended screws that place and don't forget down the side there is the heat sink you'll want to remove that also and here's when your flux paste comes in handy it helps to clean the traces and it's really sticky so it's a good way to keep the header in the proper location You want to start off here, I have a wet sponge, good way to clean the tip on your soldering iron. And here's what they call tinning the tip, so you put a little solder on the tip. I usually do that, then I clean it once more, because once you have the solder on there, it helps to transfer the heat a little bit better. And right here is I usually put a, one of the first traces put a little solder this way once I'm ready to install I have a nice location there that also helps keep the header in the correct spot this one I started off with both of them from opposite sides there you can see the two little pads of solder I put on these are the headers there's two um they do not come with the unit so if you order your unit from your dealer ask for those and as you can see right there i did the smaller side and now on to the large one it says right there that flux paste will keep that stationary then you get the first tab done and after that's done, you move over to another. When you do this, you want to make sure you're moving as far away from the one you had just recently soldered due to the heat. If you were to do the one next to it, the solder would actually jump and make a connection between the two traces. Here you see I move across to help the other two traces cool down before I come back and do the ones next to that. It helps to stop the solder from jumping across. The other one you can see I did have two of them jump. And the best way to go about that is to leave them alone, let it fully cool, and then go back over one of them with the solder on iron. Usually the solder will come back to that and then transfer it to the iron itself. Here's a quick look at how they should look after. As you can see some of them did not get a full connection. When that happens you just go back over with the heat or a little more solder. You don't need much. Two headers installed. You just, with caution, line up the K-Tuner unit and just press it on. It should go in. You shouldn't have to muscle it. 
and then from there you take your nylon spacers and put them underneath the unit lining up with the mounting holes and once you get those located I usually go put the board back in the case not a full install just enough where you can install the uh, USB wire and measure because almost directly across in that corner you'll see the slit that's where I usually use my die grinder to make like a little half moon to put the wire through and you'll want to run a knot through it so if anything if someone happens to pull on the cable it doesn't unhook from the unit because the knot's there and uh, when you do that you just leave a little slack inside the ECU case so nothing's being pulled One thing to remember is if you do this, you do want to deburr, and uh, after I use the die grinder, I take a file to make sure there are no sharp edges that can cut through the wire. After that, you can go and install your board back into the casing, and don't forget uh, the heat sink. Once you have that installed, I use an engine simulator, but you'll have to plug your ECU into your car with a strong internet connection. And that's what it looks like after you've installed correctly.